We're here at the uh, 2011 European Business Summit and one of the interesting observations here are that in the exhibition hall there are a lot of non-European companies. One of them is the Chinese company Huawei. Mr. Quentin, tell us very briefly, what is your business? What do you do? Huawei is a telecom company. It's a quite a young company. It had no sale in Europe before 2001 and it was created, uh, founded in China in 1988. Last year, we made 28 billion US dollar sales. Out of them, two thirds out of China, 2.7 billion US dollars in Europe only, with a significant growth. So about 10% of your sales coming from Europe. Uh, you're, you're one of the, 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 the few, uh, or you're one of the, actually here at the European Business Summit, there are many non-European companies. Why have you chosen to be present here with your stand? Europe is a very important market for us because it's a technology-driven market. We are an innovation-based company, so we meet demand in Europe and we are extremely interested. Europe is a tough market as well. Competition is real and competition is also driving us to be more innovative. So we are very happy to be in Europe, but we are not yet known as we would like us to be known. So we, we, we take all opportunities. And this one is a very welcome opportunity to just meet our stakeholders, uh, customers and friends and tell them who we are. It's very interesting to see a European company uh, looking for an, an increased business in Europe. Uh, usually a lot of the European companies are looking at China, but now you have a Chinese company looking at Europe. Uh, you said the European business climate is not always very difficult. What do you see as the biggest challenges for Europe here? Well, it's um, explaining, the growth has been quite rapid in Europe. Uh, we had no sales before 2001, and last year we had something like $2.7 billion, 5,000 employees, but we are not yet known. So the biggest challenge for us is to establish ourselves as a brand name uh, known by all f customers uh, in Europe. For doing that, we need to participate to events and to meet our uh, customers wherever we can through the internet if possible because we, we reach more. I, I understand that uh, many European phone companies or several uh, are already using your products uh, under their own brand name. Uh, what are the prospects of having Huawei entered into Europe uh, as a market name that also will be recognized for consumers? Most of the European operators of telecommunication are, are our partners, most of them, and we established uh, one year ago the very first fourth generation system in Norway, uh, worldwide first. Uh, we are now entering into the, the world of devices, and devices are uh, devices for customers and consumers. They are marketed through operators, and this one is an example of the devices we are marketing in Italy today, and we will hit the market globally in Europe by the end of the year for Christmas sales. Yeah. It's an let's, Android. Let's talk about this device. Yeah. Is, is this a, uh, a, a big mobile phone or a small iPad? Well, it's uh, both. It has a 3G capability, connectivity, and it's uh, the two cameras. It has, a, it has a full conference possibilities. It's Android based. It is an upscalable system, and it's both. You can make phone calls. You can make conf calls. You can make browsing. You can browse in the internet. You can do whatever you want with a single device. So thanks very much. So very interesting to hear about the Chinese companies doing business in Europe. Mr. Quentin, thanks. Thank you very much.